Many people have the perception that there is a conflict between science and the Christian faith, that the latest advances in science undermine belief in God and raise questions about the credibility of the creation accounts found in Scripture. But is this really the case? I'm joined today by Dr. Bob Nisbet to help answer that question. Uh, Bob, you are a, a plant ecologist, paleobotanist, and a Christian. Uh, what would you say to somebody who says to you, there's conflict between science and Christianity? Well, what we uh, sometimes view as conflict is really what I would call a disconnect. And one thing that, that I learned in my graduate work was that I need to withhold judgment until I search out why I have that disconnect. And it's due to a, a lack of information often on one side or the other, either on my side or on the side of, of the, the people or the issues uh, that I have apparent conflict with. And so I've found that when I approach it that way, often the conflict, the apparent conflict, just evaporates. And I can see harmony rather than conflict arise from that activity. Now, how do you personally integrate your faith as a Christian with your work as a scientist? Well, there are a number of venues. Depends, depending on the venue that I happen to be in the profession, you know, I happen to be in at the time. Uh, initially, it was in a, a Christian college. Yeah. And there, we were charged, literally, with integrating faith and, and uh, learning, and in our case, science. And so I had captive audience <laughs> of, of people in the classroom that expected me to do that, and, and I could then show them the wonders of uh, the intricacies of nature and, and how uh, this exposes to us some of the fingerprints of God. Mm -hmm. That doesn't prove God, mm -hmm. obviously, but it does give us abundant evidence uh, of his work. Uh, in, a, in a more recent venue, uh, I'm a chaplain mm -hmm. in the Santa Barbara County Jail. And there, I have the opportunity to uh, expose to the inmates, who are also a captive audience, <laughs> and I explain to them uh, the, the, the wonderful intricacies of the human body and the systems that God has developed in them that allow us to almost live forever, but not quite. There are mistakes that occur in all of these systems that lead to our death. And sure enough, uh, that's what happens. When we are born, we begin to die. But when Christ comes again, he tells us that he'll reconstitute our bodies out of the dust into which they rotted when our first bodies died, and that these bodies will be like him and have the capacity to function perfectly and live forever. And uh, so I tell the men, my major job here is to bring you hope. Hope of what's coming and hope of what is for right now. 